Over the last several years, there have been a series of things in my life that were traumatic, um, very difficult, you know, life challenges that many of us go through. And uh, things came to a really serious head for me, where I just, I wanted to crawl out of my skin and I thought I just couldn't take one more thing. I just couldn't take it. I was just energetically completely empty and had no reserves to draw off of anymore to deal with things that were happening. And every time life would seem to get back on track and I and things would feel good again or I'd feel good again, then another thing would happen. And so and I was in therapy for three and a half years, which really helped me. Um, but I grew up around uh, addicts. So um, you would think that I would have some kind of a vice or an addiction to fall back on <laughs> to help me cope because that's usually what the case is, is there's deep pain, a lot of trauma, and then people resort to drugs, alcohol, sex, food, whatever it might be to help them deal with or, or mask the pain. I'm one of those people, I don't have any of those types of vices. So I cry a lot, <laughs> I get depressed, I just kind of plow through whatever it is I'm feeling and it just became so intense and so I thought about all kinds of things. Um, but I'm not one to use traditional medicine. I don't care for um, any kind of, uh, what are they called, psychotropic drugs, things like that, because they mess with the chemistry and they don't really deal with the issue. And um, I've read every book out there and I live in Sedona, so of course I'm spiritually minded and there's so many different methodologies out there and people claiming that they can heal you and make this better and clear your chakras and clean your aura and, um, <clears throat> and I think most of them are very well intentioned and they possibly do have modal modalities that work for some people, but really nobody can do it for you. It has to be a, a process that you do on your own. And M Dean, when I thanked him for helping me, he insisted he really didn't do anything. He was just the facilitator that I did the work. So I got to a point where it was either I was truly felt like I was going to die or at least my spirit or my soul was going to just go away. Like I, I could, couldn't find anything anymore that would make me, that was resembling my, my resiliency and my happy self. And um, it was kind of like a last resort. And I was very skeptical. I didn't think it would work. I told him I was a lost cause. I was like, this you can't help me, this is crazy. I'm messed up, like this is permanent damage. And he helped me realize it's not. It's, it's an internal process and everybody has the capacity to do it. And there's that saying, you know, God doesn't hand you anything that you can't handle. And what, does, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Um, but in, I had been to several different ceremonies and community gatherings. Um, and I saw what Dean and Kelly were doing. And it had an impact on me that was so moving and really stayed with me. It wasn't like watching a movie and you go, oh my God, that's so cool. And you think about it for a couple days and then it's kind of out of your mind. It was something that truly kind of saturated into me and became a part of who I was. Everything had, was so simple and yet extremely powerful. And, and some of the assignments that he gave me, um, they were, they were, they were very simple, but they were so intense to actually do after working with him, after talking to him. It's almost like he, he prepped me and he got me ready. And then I had to go out there and do it myself and doing it myself. The work was, was very intense. It was very intense.